New King James. Yeah, New King James. You're talking about, you know, you're from Massachusetts, correct? I'm originally from Pennsylvania, but I pastored in, in Massachusetts now 27 years. Okay, so tell me now, what is it that happened regarding the New King James? We're talking the 19, late 1970s, right? Yes. 76, 77? Yes, I started a church in New Jersey in 77. Okay. So it was back then. And, and my dad and then me were friends with the, the owners of the largest Christian independent Christian bookstore east of the Mississippi. What was that called? Hackman's Bible Bookstore. It just went out of business in June. People okay. don't buy books anymore. Anyway, they sponsored a con uh, conference, and they brought in the vice president of some sort. I don't know what level, but a vice president from Thomas Nelson mm -hmm. in a pre-publication meeting uh, for the New King James Version. Uh -huh. And they showed us a series of uh, film strips and many lectures and ultimately came to this decision. Now, it's been 30, 40 years, so I'm not, I'm paraphrasing, but being as literal as I can. Okay. Uh, they said, we're educators here. There were about 300 teachers, pastors, etc. We're educators, and we would never admit this to our people, our congregations. But we all know that the King James Bible is an inferior translation coming from inferior manuscripts. But every time we've tried to give your people a better Bible, they just refuse to take it. So what we've done is we've taken the King James Bible and we've revised it as little as we could, uh, changed it here and there. So to give you, and they use the phrase, a transitional bridge to get your people away from the King James Bible so that ultimately you can move them to a better, more accurate Bible. And at that point, I'm done with the new King James. And that's the end of the thing for you? What happened after that? What did well, the other people do? I, they handed out promotional copies and things. Most of them were no big deal. They took it as it was. I, I don't know how many were pro-King James people at the meeting. Uh, like I told you a minute ago, they sent me next to John Cullenberger's brother to try to provoke me, uh, provoke an argument between us, and, and their goal was always to move me to a different Bible. So John R. Cullenberger III, he's the guy who right, so edited the, the, the New International, um, Greek English New Testament, and Hebrew English Old Testament, he just kind of, his name's all over everything. Right, right. They put me next to his brother and introduced, I didn't know who he was at the time, but thinking that we'd get into a discussion and they could move me. Uh, and it just didn't work, obviously. And you were obviously unmoved. Yeah. So yeah, you I've, just stick with the King James to this day? To this day. Thank you very much. I have, I have on my, uh, in my bedroom, my mom's Bible. Uh-huh. A second. The one she used to wave in my face and say, this is the Word of God. Don't you ever let anybody tell you it's not. It's where I stand. Amen. Thank you so much.